Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today we are going to study a numerical number 6 which is based on how to obtain a transfer function using state variable model. So first of all we will see what is the equation because you are going to obtain transfer function using state variable but using one formula and that formula we have already derived in theory part. Problem number 6. Obtain the transfer function of system which is described by SV model. What do you mean by SV? SV stands for state variable model and TF stands for a transfer function. Here the state variable model is given x dash of t which means this is my state variable. Now how to obtain or how to find out the state variables? Basically you can get the idea of state variables from the C matrix which is in y of t. Here this in C matrix we have two columns which means we have uh, two state variables. Let it be. Just go through this B matrix which is in x dash of t. Here we have a uh, two rows but in one column. As we have two rows which means we have a uh, two state variables differentiation equations. Now look at it. What is the equation of this matrix? Uh, it is a uh, 2 cross 2. 2 cross 2 means what? Here we have on left hand side we have a two state variables where the highest degree of differentiation is 1 and this x of t which is multiplied with this x dash of t. So this x of t is also having a two state variables which means from all of these equations or all of these models or matrices you can get the idea how many state variables are there in my question. Now we will move on to solution. Now this was my equation. I'm going to compare this equation with the standard form of state variable model. Now look at here, just compare this input state variable model with this standard format. So after comparing what I can say that my A matrix is this and my B matrix is this. Now if I compare output state variable model with this given equation my C matrix is this and my D matrix is absent so I can say that my D value is 0. Now what is the basically a transfer function equation? At the transfer function equation formula is c into si minus a inverse that is multiplied with b and the whole result is added with d but here the d value is 0 so my h of s is equation is c into si minus a inverse into b only now so after substituting d value i have got this equation so first of all we will find out si minus a inverse value but first of all we will find out the matrix of si minus a So basically this i is nothing but identity or unity matrix. So s is multiplied with that. Now how many rows and columns that you are going to choose? Just look at here. In my a the row column is 2 cross 2. So of course here also we will use a 2 cross 2 matrix. And my a matrix is this. Now just multiply this s inside this matrix. Now what is the next step? Just perform the subtraction. So how to perform subtraction? First element is subtracted from the first. The second element is subtracted from the second. So we will do the same thing with all these elements. So s minus of minus 2 is s plus 2. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. 0 minus 0 is 0. And s minus of minus 3 is And this is the equation of SI minus A. Now, basically what is the formula of SI minus A inverse? The formula is adjoint of SI minus A upon determinant of SI minus A. So, I will find out first of all SI minus A determinant and then later on we will find out the adjoint of SI minus A. And then we will substitute all this value in my h of s that is transfer function equation. So let's say this is my equation number 
1. Now, first of all, we will find out the determinant. So, we know that how to obtain. Just multiply these two elements and then minus of product of these two elements. So, 0 into anything is 0. So, you will get the SI minus A determined value from these two product. So, S into S is S square. Now, S into 3 is 3S, but 2 into S is also 2S and 3S plus 2S is 5S. And 3 into 2 is plus 6. So, this is the determinant equation. Now, we will find out the adjoint of SI minus A. So, how to obtain adjoint? Just replace these two values and multiply minus sign with these two elements. Well, this is the shortcut method. Now, we will substitute both this value in my SI minus A inverse formula. Now, I am going to substitute this SI minus A inverse value in but in equation number 1. So, that you will get the answer for H of S. Now, look at it. I have substituted my all SI minus A inverse value, C value and B value in my equation number 1. So, all these are the matrices basically. Now, we will multiply these two matrix first. Now, look at here. Here we have 1 cross 2 element that is 1 row and 2 columns. And this matrix is 2 cross 2. So, if I multiply these two matrices, then you are going to write the answer, but in which form, whether in 1 cross 2 format or whether in 2 cross 2 format or whether in 2 cross 1 format. So, how to obtain? Just look at here. Basically, this C matrix is multiplied with this adjoint of SI minus A. Now, the C matrix is having element 1 cross 2 and this one is having 2 cross 2. So, just simply eliminate these two values. Now, look at here. This is the value of row. Next one is a column. Here also next one is a row. Next one is a column. So, if I remove this similar element from this equation, then your result will be represented in 1 cross 2 matrices. Now, how to obtain this product? Now, as I said, you will get the answer in 1 cross 2 elements. That is 1 row, but will have a 2 column elements. Now, multiply this one with S plus 3. We know that how to perform the multiplication. Row is always multiplied with column. So, first element into first plus second element into second. That is 1 into S plus 3 is S plus 3. But minus 1 into 0 is 0. So, after adding 0, the answer will remain same that is s plus 3. Now, similarly, look at here 1 into 1 is 1, but minus 1 into this whole value is. So, as I said, your result will be in the form of 1 cross 2 element. Now, I will multiply this whole product result with this next matrix. And after multiplying these two matrix, this whole result is multiplied with 1 upon s square plus 5s plus 6. Now, look at here. How many rows we have? We have a two rows and single column. Now, if I multiply these two matrices, then what will happen? 1 cross 2 is multiplied with 2 cross 1. So, two adjacent similar values will be removed. So, what you will get? Answer will be in the form of row into column. That is 1 cross 1 element you have. So, just look at here, 0 into s plus 3 is 0, but that is added with 1 into 1 minus s minus 2. And this whole result is multiplied with s square plus 5, s plus 6. Now, 1 minus of 2 is minus 1 and minus s. So, what we have? minus s minus 2 and this result is multiplied with 1 so answer will remain same and this is nothing but my equation of transfer function so this is how we are going to obtain a transfer function from state variable model now in next numerical we are going to find out a straight transition matrix but from matrix a 
So we'll study how to obtain straight transition matrix and what is the formula to obtain the straight transition matrix. But for that, stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda for further more videos. Thank you so much.